Um, is everything okay? Or is something a little out of whack? Ah. Much better. Hi, I'm Dr. Bay, and this is basically science. I love science because it's in everything we do. Eating, breathing, walking, and even blading. That's right, there's a science to Beyblade. Let me show you. Welcome to the lab, Bay fans. This is basically science and I am Dr. Bay. Not a real doctor, just a blading enthusiast with a stylish white coat. Everything seems to be straight up now. Everything except for my Beyblade. Here's a super close and super slow-mo look at precession. When most objects tip to the side, they fall over. Observe! <laughs> So why isn't my Beyblade toppling over? Well, I mean, if I let it go like this, it will. But when it's spinning, it doesn't. Why? How? Who? Sure, it will fall over eventually thanks to gravity and friction. But unlike that montage from earlier, it won't fall over straight away. When a spinning top leans to the side like this, it's called precession. But how does precession work? There are two major factors. Gravity pulls things down. It pulls down on a spinning Beyblade and it slows it down. But gravity is not the only force at work here. The Beyblade is spinning. So there's also a horizontal spin force. Don't believe me that there's a horizontal spin force? That's good. You need evidence for these things. I could tell you that the earth is full of fruit, but you can't believe me without evidence. Three, two, one, let it rip. Now that your hunger for delicious, delicious evidence is satisfied, how do these two forces combine to make a Beyblade lean over? How do they combine to make precession? The two forces, gravity and spin, combine to angle diagonally instead of straight down or straight across. And so they make the Beyblade lean to the side as it slows down. As the Beyblade leans to the side, its tip touches more of the stadium, and so friction is increased. And so the Beyblade slows down even more. As the spin slows, the horizontal force can no longer keep the downward force of gravity at bay. <laughs> As the spin slows, the horizontal force can no longer keep the downward force of gravity at bay. And so, the Beyblade just topples over. This whole action is called precession. Beyblade tops that start precession earlier in battle topple over quicker than Beyblade tops that stand on their tip. How does precession affect blading? I'm glad I asked. Spinning on an angle instead of the Beyblade's tip drains more stamina because more of the performance tip is rubbing against the stadium's surface. And so the Beyblade will spin less. Friction, is that you? Again? Launching a Beyblade at an angle means that the Beyblade will begin precession earlier. 
More precession means less spin time. To minimize our variables, I'm gonna launch the same Beyblade at the same force, but we'll launch at a different angle each time to see if we can prove that a more angled launch will make the Beyblade begin precession earlier so that it will then topple over faster. That's the theory, let's give it a spin. <laughs> just, just, just launch. Three, two, one. Let it rip. We got the spin, spin, spin. Turn in my hands, ignite the fire. We got the win, win, win. Our bay launched at zero degrees is looking pretty smooth. The one launched at 20 degrees is a bit wobbly, but oh no, look at the one that launched at 45 degrees. It's already wobbling all over the place. It's gonna lose a lot of stamina. We've managed to note some results. Take a look at this nifty graph. As you can see, an increase in launch angle leads to a decrease in spin time. Even though they balance themselves out, angled launches lead to precession quicker than level launches. And that's because the Beyblade starts the battle leaning to the side. When they lean, they experience more friction, and so they run out of energy quicker than tops launched flat. If you want your Beyblade to spin longer, use a level launch to keep it spinning. It's not just our launch angle that impacts precession. Certain Beyblade tops are more likely to lean to the side while spinning. This usually has something to do with their weight or their shape. And to prove this, I'm gonna need the help of Roctivore R4 and Excalius X4. Roctivore R4 is a pretty well-balanced top, so I predict it will stay spinning on its tip for longer. It will take a long time to begin precession, and so it will take a long time to topple over. Excalius X4, on the other hand, is a bit more lopsided. With its massive sword here, there'll be more weight on one side of the Beyblade, so it will be leaning to that side quicker, and it will begin precession quicker. It won't spin on its tip for very long, and so it'll topple over pretty quickly. Let's take a look at each Beyblade in the stadium and see which one spins longer. Three, two, one. Let it rip! Excalius X4 is already wobbling from side to side. Look at it! Even with a level launch, there's a ton of precession here thanks to all that extra weight on one side. Meanwhile, Roctivore R4 is as stable as ever. Without any extra weight on one side, it's able to keep spinning on its tip for longer, and so it won't start precession for a long time. Excalius X4 spun on average for 27 seconds, but Roctivore R4 spun on average for 61 seconds. More balance means less precession, and less precession means more spin time. What did we learn today? Precession is the act of a spinning top leaning to the side and rotating on its axis. Precession is a combination of downwards gravity and horizontal spin. As precession begins, the Beyblade experiences more friction than if it were to spin on only its tip. So, it topples over quickly. The more angled your launch, or the more lopsided your Beyblade, the quicker it will experience precession. That's something to keep in mind when we're blading. You've all been amazing lab partners. I'll catch you next time when we take a look at collisions. Now, if you'll excuse me, 
I've got to get back to my research. I don't know about you, anatomy person, but I really hope this lab doesn't tip over again. It'll take all day to start it spinning.